Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a Lutron Cassetta Smart Dimmer Switch or a Smart Dimmer Switch. So, uh, what we've got here is the Smart Dimmer that we're going to be installing, and we've got our existing switch here. Now, the reason that you might want to add a Smart Dimmer Switch to your house is that it allows you to control your lighting from your phone or using compatible voice assistants like Alexa, Google Home, and even Siri. So uh, the switch that we're going to install today, it does not require neutral wire. That may be important for some of you. We've got other videos on that, and we'll uh, put the links below. But uh, you just turn on and off with this switch at the top and bottom buttons, or dim left, down or up uh, in the middle buttons, and it's got a little LED indicator light here. So we're going to get started on this. The very first thing that you need to do before you get started on any electrical project is turn off the power to the uh, light switch at the circuit breaker. So go ahead and do that. My favorite method to do this is go ahead and turn the light switch on and then go down to that circuit breaker, turn it off. And when you come back up, you'll know you have the right circuit breaker when the light is no longer on in that room. Now, another thing that you can do to be extra safe is use a non-contact voltage meter like this one. We'll put a link below and go ahead and uh, you can check to make sure the power is off by putting this over to the top of the switch, as well as then when you take the cover plate off, go ahead and test it again. And what this does, it detects the electrical field when there's current in there and alerts you if there is still power on that electrical circuit before you get started working. So that's just an extra way to be extra safe. So go ahead, turn the power off, and then we're gonna get started removing this. And we're gonna go all the way through setting this up on the Wi-Fi network in the entire system. So we're gonna show you how to install it and then how to set up the system so that you can use it on your phone as well. So we've got the power off to this. We tested it with our non-contact voltage meter. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the cover plate for this light switch. So we just go ahead and uh, remove these two screws. They're pretty tiny, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that uh, you hold onto these and you don't lose them. Just go ahead and loosen them both up, the top and the bottom. And uh, I'm sorry if my fingers are getting in the way. And this is a good time to mention, if you wanna support us, you can click on any links below. They do help the channel. Uh, you can buy us a coffee or uh, you can click on any of our courses that uh, can teach you how to automate your home or how to general contract your home. So after that, uh, you get that cover plate off. What you're going to do next is take the two screws that hold the light switch onto the junction box. You may have a uh, junction box that is either metal or plastic, depending on where you live and the local building codes. You can just use a screwdriver for this, but once again, hold on to those uh, screws. Um, you can also use a drill for this, which would be a little bit quicker, but uh, I like to show people that you can do this stuff with just some minor hand tools. Um, you don't have to have all kinds of fancy equipment to change out your light switches or upgrade your smart home. So the new Lutron Cassetta light switches that we've got uh, going in here, um, they are a really nice addition if you're looking to get uh, smart switches in your house. Um, there's a whole bunch of different stuff that you can use, but uh, we'll show you how to install these here. So stop here for a minute and i want you to take a picture of the light switch and the wiring that is the easiest way to make sure that you get this right you take out your old light switch you take a picture of the new lights uh the wiring on the old light switch and then you wire it up just like it was there's more that you can do to make sure that you get it right but this is the easiest way if you take a picture and wire up your new light switch the exact same way you had it you don't have to worry about getting it right or wrong or finding which wire goes where. So take your second here and take a picture and we'll get started putting in the new switch. So first thing you're wanna, gonna do is uh, remove the two screws that are holding the wiring in. Now we've got our wires uh, loose and we can install our new Lutron Cassetta dimmer switch here. Okay, and you can go ahead and just uh, take a look inside the junction box, make sure there's nothing uh, going on in there. And we'll just zoom in here and you can see uh, it's clear. There's nothing crazy going on in there. Um, and it does look like we've got enough room to put this wire, the wires in as well as the new light switch. So uh, these smart light switches, they do wire in a little bit differently. Uh, they don't require you to put a screw on the back of them. They've got two leads like so right here. So all you're gonna do is take uh, your yellow wire here, whatever color it is, and this is the wire going up to the light switch, uh, the light fixture. This is what's called the load wire. And you're just gonna wire it together with a wire nut like so. So uh, you make sure that you have it stripped the proper length. 
We'll zoom back out here a little bit. Make sure that you've got the wires stripped out to the proper length. And then uh, you're just gonna put them together and take a wire nut and twist those together like so. So you just go ahead and twist, twist until the wires um, kind of start to twist together on their own. And you can kind of see where it's got that, it's wrapped around itself uh, a little bit. It wants to keep twisting. So that's kind of where you're gonna stop with that. And then uh, you're gonna do the same thing with this other wire, which is the hot. This is the un incoming power. Now, what's really nice about these switches, these light switches and what's super user friendly, and this is the hot wire, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna wire them up with a wire nut here. And what's really nice about these uh, light switches is that you can't wire the hot and load in reverse. Um, these light switches will work whether you attach the hot wire to this wire or the hot wire to this wire or the load wire to this wire or the load wire to this wire. They are, uh, they don't matter, it doesn't matter which one goes where, as long as you wire it up with both a hot and a load wire. That's all that you need to do and uh, they will work. So these smart light switches, they do not require neutral wire. And now you can see we've got all these wired up. Okay, we've got our hot wires wired together here and we've got our load wires wired together here. Now the other one, this green wire is a ground wire. Now, if you have plastic junction boxes, you need to wire this up to the green wire that's gonna be in your junction box or the unshielded ground wire that's gonna be in your junction box. This green ground wire should be wired to the ground wire in your plastic junction box. However, what we've got here is a metal junction box and a metal body for this light switch here. And you can see the ground wire is attached right to the metal body. And uh, you know, it's got a wire here. Well, you can just cap this off because this is actually grounded through the conduit system. So there's no ground wire inside of this junction box to attach this to because the conduit system itself is the ground wire. So when you screw this in uh, and you wanna make sure obviously use metallic screws because that's how this all works, um, this will be grounded when you use those metal screws. So uh, next thing you're gonna do is just push the wires back in there so that you can fit this in. Um, sometimes you play a little bit of wire origami and uh, it turns out that having a little bit longer wires actually are easier to fold than shorter wires. So now we've got that light switch in there and we're gonna reinstall those two screws that we took from the original light switch, okay? So we go ahead and take those and now we're just gonna go ahead and screw those back in. So put this one here in the top and screw it back in. Obviously you wanna make sure there's a little air on here. It says up. You don't want your light switches to go in upside down. So go ahead and screw that in and you don't wanna screw it all the way in. You wanna get the bottom one in too um, because what can happen is you can kinda of get this off kilter and uh, you just wanna screw both screws in you know, at the same time. So you don't wanna put one all the way in, it can get hard to get that uh, light switch in there. One advantage I have seen with these uh, smart light switches is that they are a lower profile than some of the other ones out on the market, these smart uh, dimmers, these Lutron Cassetta smart dimmers. And it just makes it easier to uh, get the light switch into the junction box sometimes, so that is an advantage. Then you're just gonna go ahead and tighten this down, um, depending on what you got in your junction box, how the junction box is mounted and, and all that. Uh, depends on how tight you're gonna get this in terms of putting it on the wall and uh, kind of locating it so that it, it will look good when you get the cover plate on. Um, now we've got our cover plate and all we're gonna do here is just tighten this cover plate up uh, and install it on top of the light switch. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn the power on. Okay, so here we go. Just tighten the other screw here. All right. All right, so effectively, this smart light switch, the Lutron Cassetta smart dimmer switch is now installed. We've showed you how to install this. Now we're gonna show you how to set it up. So we're gonna go turn the power back on for this and then show you what you have to do with the system in order to control this with your phone. All right, the power is restored at the junction box for this. You're gonna have to have the power restored in order for this to work. And uh, you just go ahead and turn it off by pressing the bottom button. And you turn it on by pressing the top button. And then you can dim and adjust the dimming levels by using the two arrows right here. And on the side, it will show you a dimming indicator. 
Now on the camera, it looks like it's blinking, but it's really not in reality. The only reason it looks like it's blinking is because of the frame rate of the camera, but it is uh, just a solid indicated uh, LED light. It's not too bright or anything or anything distracting like that. So now let's go ahead and get the wireless portion of this set up so we can control it with our phone. So now we need to download the app. So we're just gonna put in uh, Lutron. And you can see that it sets uh, that it shows up right there, Lutron Cassetta and RA2 setup. We're gonna go ahead and click install and uh, just let this install on the phone. After that, we're gonna create a username and password and log on. So I'm not gonna show you setting up a username and password. Uh, you, you definitely know how to do that and uh, I can't give you out the account information, but we're just gonna go ahead and say agree and continue, and I'm gonna say get started. Please install the devices, including okay. We're gonna click next, and it's going to say create an account. So you've just gotta create a password, use an email, and select your, uh, your country here, and then we'll show you what you need to do next. We've got our information entered and we just click create an account. Once we've created our username and password, it allows you to log in. And the next thing that you're gonna do is start setting up the home hub or the Wi-Fi module that connects to your light switches. So for this, you're gonna need to go to your router and you're also gonna need to plug this in. It comes with an ethernet cord and a power cord. So we're gonna go do that. So the next thing you're gonna do is plug in the Lutron module or Lutron hub. So you need to connect it to your router and then you also need to connect it to power. So we've got it plugged into our router and we have it connected to power. So now we can go back to the app for setup. All right, so once you click next, uh, it might have a software update to do depending on how long ago you purchased this and uh, if the software has been already updated. Uh, it might just take a minute or two or a couple minutes to get this updated. So we're going to let that work and keep setting this up when the software update is done. It has now found the hub, updated the software, and it says to tap the button on the back side. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It says your bridge is connecting to your Lutron system. Okay. Name your home. I'm just gonna leave it as my home, uh, but you could name it whatever you want. If you've got two homes, uh, name it whatever your first or second home is. Lutron app would like to access your location in order to use certain features, such as astronomic schedules, geofencing, natural light optimization, okay. So it says, uh, I'm just gonna say deny for this time. Um, we can always add that later. In general, I don't like to have uh, access for all the GPS stuff while I'm setting things up. I don't know. It's just it's my thing. Uh, so here we go. Let's see if we can get this uh, a little bit better. All right. Now it says add a device. Choose the type of device you would like to add to the app. So we've got all these different uh, things here. What we actually installed is called a Cassetta, Cassetta in-wall dimmer switch and fan control. So this is a Lutron Cassetta dimmer switch. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. It says, press and hold the bottom button for 10 seconds until the LED blinks quickly. So we're gonna go back up to the light switch and press it for 10 seconds. So we're back at the light switch and uh, it's asking for us to hold down the bottom button for 10 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it found it. And it says, choose the room where this light switch is located. So uh, it's going to be a bedroom. And uh, we'll say guest. Okay done and we click next and it says choose the type of light so this is a uh, ceiling light so we're just going to say uh, main and click next adding device it says guest bedroom main lights added add another device i'm just going to click uh, i'm done adding devices 
And now let's see if we can control this uh, from our phone. So it says one light on, uh, the light is on in here. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and turn it off. Uh, let's off by clicking off, okay. And you can see the uh, light turns on and off here. The light switch turns on, turns off when we do that, or we can turn it on and we can adjust the dimming levels and we can watch it go down uh, right here. So you can see the indicator light as we adjust the dimming is going down. So we are now controlling the light switch from our phone. And let's just go over to uh, one of the lights that's controlled by this. This is actually, uh, there's a ceiling light connected to this and also a lamp, uh, a plug-in lamp that's connected to this. So we'll go ahead and get that as well too. So here we go, we've got the uh, lamp that's on the same circuit as the light switch as well as the ceiling light. And we can just go ahead and uh, click right here and you can see that we can turn it on and off remotely with our phone now. Um, it might be hard to see because the lighting is not super uh, great in here. So let's turn it off so you can see the light turn on and off or turn down the exposure. And you can see the light turning on and off here. So uh, the Lutron Cassetta Smart Dimmer is now set up. You can now control it with your phone. We'll do another video that allows you to connect this to Alexa or Siri or Google Home. But uh, you can now use your Lutron Cassetta light switch with your phone and remotely control it. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up and like the video. Subscribe. And as always, please help support this channel by clicking on any links below. Thank you.